If an unbent beam has straight lines drawn across its section, like these here and here, then when the beam's bent, those lines will remain straight, as in here and here and so on. This behaviour is known as plane sections remaining plane and is fundamental to most beam theory. And it's true, as we can see here, for most types of loading. If a section actually deformed, so maybe took up a shape more like this, then plane sections wouldn't be remaining plane and typical beam theory would no longer hold. Having seen that plane sections do indeed remain plane, we can zoom in a bit and see what one expression from beam theory tells us about what's going on in the section. So this, this equation links the strain in the beam at a distance y from a neutral axis, where y is being measured in this direction, so positive downwards. Uh, what this expression says is that the strain increases linearly as we move away from a neutral axis. So at y equals 0, that's on the neutral axis, we have 0 strain. And as y increases, the strain increases linearly, perhaps like that. So it's positive in this region, and that means the beam is being stretched in this region. And we can see that fibres here are, are visibly stretched, so the beam's behaving as predicted by beam theory. And if we have a negative y, then we'd end up with a negative strain. So we could draw that something like that. And we can see again that the fibres in this region are indeed compressed. So beam theory is giving us the correct distribution of strains across the section. We can also look at the M term here, which says that the strains will be bigger where there's a large bending moment, as we know occurs at the centre of the beam, and less as we move away from the centre of the beam in this case, because there's a, a point load on it. So what we might expect is that the strains, for example, in this region, are less big, as I've drawn here. And visually, looking at the beam, we can see that fibres in this region, say here, are less stretched than fibres in the central region here. So again, the foam beam is showing that beam theory is giving us the correct predictions of behaviour.